and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Sultai Dreams. Basically, I am trying to build some new decks around Drawn from Dreams because I really, really like this card, think it's very strong, and we don't see it in the metagame too much. Uh, this two blue, blue sorcery. Um, this could be a card that makes a bigger impact after rotation, whenever we lose the Teferis, to be honest. But for now, I'm, I'm still uh, wanting to play with it some different shells. Today, we're going to be playing it uh, playing it in a Sultai deck here, and I'm going to try it in a Jeskai deck uh, maybe tomorrow. I have a, a Jeskai deck I've been building with, Drawn from Dreams as well. So this is basically just Sultai Control. Um, that, you know, we're trying to grind our opponent out uh, with all of our uh, pretty good removal and everything. And then, of course, Drawn from Dreams finding all of our good stuff. Drawn from Dreams obviously works so well with Kefnet. Kefnet's just absolutely amazing with the card, with it. And I really like it with Tamiyo also. So Tamiyo is like our main engine of our of our deck also, besides the Dreams, where we're going to be using this Tamiyo minus quite a bit to return our different cards from our graveyard to our hand. So whatever, like... Tamiyo is like our selection spell. Like after we have like all these different like removal spells and everything in our graveyard, whatever we need, we can grab with Tamiyo. Or if we need more card advantage, we we grab the Drawn from Dreams back. Yeah, Tamiyo works so well with with sorceries. You know, like you get to Casualties of War, um, blow up a bunch of stuff, get it, grab it back with Tamiyo, so you can Casualties of War again. Or you know, same thing with the Drawn from Dreams, then to the God Eternals. Um, Tamiyo just works so well with with these kind of with instants and sorcery spells that go to your graveyard and then you can return them back. How do we kill our opponent? Mostly going to be attacking with Kefnet. Kefnet's going to be our main way to kill our opponents. Uh, we also attack with Enter the God Eternals and with Ugin. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a process. We're going to be <laughs> um, getting rid of all their stuff. But it is it's definitely a slow deck, but we that's why we have all these sweepers. Um, lots of sweepers, lots of card advantage in here so let's let's give it a try let's see how our our sultai control deck goes this is a, a new deck that i'm just kind of trying out so i want to so we're going to play it over in the traditional constructed queue it's very yep very grindy yep i could i could see playing like i already have so many four mana cards but i could definitely see playing a jace in here um, to to be able to win on milling ourselves out also. But with all the drawn from dreams, we kind of are, we kind of have too many. We're, we're filled up on the four mana slot now. Legion's End is, is awesome. Um, Legion's Ed is very good against these these scapeshift decks that are popping up that make a ton of zombies. It's very good there. It's very good against a Danto Vanguard, which is a really hard card for us to beat. Um, it's very good against... Ooh, taking the Narset. Very good against Hydroid Crisis and Wild Growth Walker. And then just your mono white and mono red decks. So yeah, we want we want Legion's End for all that kind of stuff. And then yeah, I guess I guess Growth Chamber Guardian's a, a thing for it too, but that that's not really even what I really have in mind. I think a Danto Vanguard is like the biggest thing for the Legion's End, to be honest. Anyone need a match? Go get him, buddies. Chandra is awesome here.
Definitely want Kefnet. So I want a land drop. No, we're gonna take a, another dreams. I'm expecting them to minus and, and go thought erasure here. So I wanna have I wanna have a, a good amount of of good cards, you know, so I don't have just like one thing for them to thought erasure away. I would love to be doing Tamio minus and like grab Tamio, but then Tamio dies to the Chandra, so that's the problem with Tamio minus. All right, so I wanted to land. So we're gonna take the land, and we'll take. I guess I want breeding pool. And we'll take this casualties of war. Hey, what's up, six one nine? Fire spreads fast with help. That's deck's sweet. Mother Ludi always say, fight fire with fire. Yeah, the Blue Knight does work well with Kefnet. That is true. Blue Knight does work really well with Kefnet. It works very well with Tamio also. You put something back on top, or even put like two cards back on top, then you tick up and you grab them. What do I have for Planeswalker removal in the main deck? I really don't have much. I just have Casualties of War and Trophy. Ugin. Opportunity for new data. No tail should be discarded. All right, so we'll be able to protect Tamio. Go get him, buddies. Here with you know, moment of craving or tyrant scorn. Just make it so Tamio doesn't die immediately. Yeah, we have Elder Spells in the sideboard. Yeah, two Elder Spells in the sideboard. And a couple Noxious Grasps, because a lot of Planeswalker decks are... Green and white. This specific one is I not, though. Not want to talk. Let me aid your research. Hmm.
you know, this, this is definitely a matchup for Casualties of War. Like, Casualties of War definitely looks good here. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Go get him, buddies. You're making it difficult to work. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. All right, well, unfortunately, that was our other casualties of war. Unfortunately. Worry, I brought company. <laughs> no pressure. See, they have lava coil. Yeah. We don't get to see the lands we put, or like the cards that we get back from, like the drawn from dreams cards we put at the bottom. Curiosity and wonder drive civilization. I bathe in ghost fire. To the library. I don't know if we're going to beat these two emblems. Do not harm I kill the Chandra. I concede. I wish I had that Jace. Because I'm just like milling myself out pretty fast here. find my notes helpful. Down to 17 cards. And we really do have a lot of card advantage in this deck. Maybe we do need Jace. I'm just not going to have cards left in my library anymore. Go get him, 
buddies. More data will be needed. to test a new hypothesis with you. I have learned much from my ancestors. Do not defy the designs of an elf. I Your don't have enough spears right is now. Unwritten. Only have 14 cards left. Everything's staying on top. I gotta kill my opponent before we die from that thing and before... Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. The past is never forgotten. Secrets manifest before you. Ugh. That was annoying. Yeah, we have a lot of spells in these these cards, not really spells here. So we're gonna be activating this as Kanta. All right, we're down to 12 cards. You have to put two of them into your hand? Can't just be like up to two? Can we just take one? Anything here that helps me. Another enter the God Eternals. Oh no! Oh wait! Thank you, Tamio. Thank you, Tamio. Let me try this again. So we're at eight cards in library.
So I think I just only have lands and cast down. Um, <sighs> Considering taking up Tamiyo, I would mill over four cards, but then we'd be able to minus Tamiyo at least. Would Basically the best thing to minus would be grabbing the Enter the God Eternals. Beyond vision. If it doesn't work, we're in a lot of trouble. I think it'll work though. Seek and find. That's not good. Wait, why don't they just play Enter the God Eternals? They could have milled me out. Would have been dead if they would have displayed Enter the God Eternals. The storied past holds our future. I can't get back Kefnet. The other Kefnet's in exile. I don't have I don't have another Kefnet to get. This is this is all I got. All I have is this this one Kefnet here. We gotta beat Nezkanta. I can't make I can't make Ugin tokens. I have two cards. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. All my revenge will be painful. I'm going to save the Ugin minus for maybe something else. The Nickel Bolus just doesn't matter. Over here. Ugh. I plus the Tamiya so I could minus, so I could minus three. Which it turns out saved us. Because otherwise, the end to the God Eternals is going to kill us. Take action. You are all so generous. Oh right, that can do Ugin's ability. Okay, never mind. That card is does actually do something. Okay, 
Well, we're now dead to the, the emblem. Because <clears throat> I don't have a fast enough clock now. All right, anti Grixis control sideboard. Kind of want to keep the tyrant scorn. I also don't really even know what I'm on more egoing. I probably don't have anything that's that important on where you go. Let's keep a cry of the Carnarium. Maybe two. Get rid of Scorn. Keeping Cry because of War Boss. I'm putting putting Cry in the deck because of War Boss. All right, well, if I would have had a Jace in my deck, we would have had that one. I didn't have enough cards. I ran out of cards. Even though it's another four mana card instead of a three mana card, I think maybe we can take out a Narset for a Jace. Narset really isn't that great of a card. I think that's where I could find room for a Jace, is taking out one of these Narsets. Even though that does just mean yet another four mana card, I think that's okay and that's worth it. Um, well... I'm gonna want this Cry if they have War Boss. If they don't have War Boss, I don't want the Cry. Obviously, we only have one blue source right now. But if I, like, put back Narset, and then they, like, discard my Drawn from Dreams, kind of doing nothing. All right, let's... Let's risk it. Risking a lot. We don't even have two blue. Right, well. Dragon God's certainly a lot scarier. No, we just take the Autorager. Don't let them get that Surveil this turn. My problem. I have just the trick for this. Your prowess. Chandra. Yes, land. That's what I want. Can't really let them have that. Okay, well. No land. Uh, that's not good either. a bunch of cards that weren't any good.
Not looking good for us, but we do have Ascanta. Ascanta, very important. Kind of wish I would have the Unmoored Ego just to take Dragon God. Ha. Ah. Yeah, we didn't have any good cards off that drawn from Dreams. Take that. Whew, that's perfect. Perfect. That's the card. Gosh, there's so much stuff. Gotta take that. Yes, please, give me that Tamiyo. Gotta take... That. Uh, Jettage, I probably. I don't. I don't know. I haven't planned that far ahead. You know, that's weeks away. I was not prepared for this. I would like to ask about any lunar. So I either tick up a name Kefnet or I minus grab the Drawn from Dreams. Let's grab the Drawn from Dreams. I follow the tracks nope. of the wise. You. Become too involved with my work. I feel like Draw from Dreams is probably more valuable than just a Thought Erasure. Especially at this point when we have a lot of mana. If I if I flip the top card, then we'll be able to uh, be able to flip Search for Kanta. Cool. They already knew about that Kefnet, of course. Oh, don't use all that blue mana. All right, trophy duress. Definitely grab Tamio that can get back drawn from dreams. And I guess duress. Duress can take this Chandra. Double elder spell. Jeez. Alright, I'm going to activate Ascanta here. Keep myself from milling out. How am I dealing with this Kef net since I don't have Enter the God Eternals? Mm -hmm. 
I question this outcome. Dueling you will be excellent research. I have learned much from my ancestors. All right, we just gotta find something for this Kefnet. Rude. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Yeah, we have we have a lot of things that can deal with the Kefnet. Like that. Good old Tamio. Got my back. All right. So I think I want these things back to help deal with Kefnet. Or maybe I want these things. We didn't see any war bosses there, so I kind of want to take out Cry of the Carnarium, but then if I take out Cry of the Carnarium, they're going to have war boss, and I'm going to feel sad. Play one of those. Just not that likely they have war boss for all the cards that we saw. What's our dex win condition? Attacking with Kefnet. All right, taking out the two cries for an unward ego. Which, honestly, unward ego is good chance that I shouldn't be playing it. Good chance that's going to be a waste. Um, darn. I was certainly hoping for no discard with this hand. As you can tell, we were kind of relying on Ascanta hitting a bunch of land drops for us. No, you cannot see your cards that you put on, onto the bottom in, in a random order with Drawn from Dreams. Because it's random, you can't see the cards because then you'd be able to see the order. You can only see cards. Like as Kanta, you get to choose the order. It's any order, so then there you get to see those cards. Definitely want to kill Ascanta, but I don't know if I want to do it like right now. Cards are good. Alright, we're gonna need land drops. Taking that Narset fast. They kept that card on top also.
Basically doing this because they kept that card on top really fast. Really hoping no Nicol Bolas here, though. Like, Nicol Bolas, of course, is... Hooray! That would be a... A, dis a disaster. Ow. an excellent informant for my study. The past is never forgotten. This deck's pretty cool, though. No, not that card. Not that card. Need this trophy back now. If I Dispersal, I have to just get Lucky and top deck a land. If I as Kanta, it's much more likely that I draw the land. What does the land really do for me, though? Just a Tamiyo and a Narset? Doesn't even do that much for me. Let's see if we find... Oh, no. Elder Spell won't do it now. So we need to find Elder Spell, huh? Well, Drawn from Dreams digs farther. Than as Kanta does. Perfect. Oh, I should have kept should have kept another black source open. I could have duress too. Darn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, two emblems is rough. All right, looking for Kefnet. It's a pretty good card. Sure.
let us have a storied battle or worse. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. No, oh, there's the end to the God Eternals. Probably need that card too. I need that for life. There's so many decisions to make here. There's Kefnet. Follow the tracks of the wise. Okay. Good mill over. Let us untap. No removal. Ugh. Gross. That's alright, we're still still winning this for now. Still got this. Destroy a creature and a land. Destroy this creature and whatever blue black land. Catacomb grave, we'll do grave. We're winning the race and we have Escanta and they're top decking. Some pretty sweet games. Yeah, I haven't been talking a ton during these games because I've just been so many decisions that I've just been thinking about and everything. So I'm sorry I've been a little bit quieter than normal. Playing at a, a pretty quick pace here, though. Opponents playing at a, a quick pace as well, which is nice. So it's just been back and forth like, this whole time. Don't know how many Tamios I've gone through. Two, only two. I am really surprised they didn't bedevil in response to my Ascanta activation. I think that's the time to bedevil. Honestly. Because then I would have had to put it down to the bottom. I have 17 cards in library. They put that card on top. Yeah, they know about that Kefnet. So I want to find Tamio. I guess I'm not going to have the mana... Oh, did I just grab this negate? Save that Tamiya for later. The 
Yeah, I guess I just grabbed a gate. Better not be Chandra. Are you kidding me? If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flames. Hope it's not too hot for you. Lame. It is an honor to meet you. Well, I don't... I have to kill the, the Chandra right now, so I don't have quite enough mana. Come on, Arena. You can do it. I don't have quite enough mana to cast the Ench the God Eternals and the Elder Spell here, so we're going to have Your to Elder Spell. First, though, you're gonna be sorry when I come back. So we're going down to two. Wow, it's a great, great card. That's eh, not really that great. It's, it's whatever. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm not going to have Negate up this turn. They're going to have a turn. They get a turn to top deck. Let's see what they get. I have learned much One mana short. Ancestors. Yeah, get those things out of there. The problem with like dispersal or or um, anything else is, uh, ugh, is the life gain. We need to like cast. We need to cast the at least one enter the God Eternals for the life gain there. All right, one and zero. Easy match. Let's let's do another reset with Arena, because it was lagging on me. <laughs> You're Arena out for today now after just that that game. Yeah, that was a sweet game. <laughs> In that 1-0 time, I finished my whole constructed run. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that was a that was a good match right there. <clears throat> yeah, we could have gone Assassin's Trophy, Enter the God Eternals, and then been able to hold up Negate. Um, at that point, though, I'm just at six life. And so if they, if they draw, like the problem with that is if they draw, if, if you go that route, then if they top deck Chandra and go Chandra kill my creature, I'm actually just dead to the three emblems at that point. If they, it, so like that's, so that's why I wanted to do the double, uh, whatever it's called. That's why I went double, doubled it up. Yeah, I've played a good amount of legacy. Um, 
I haven't played Legacy since, you know, like last summer-ish. Last like August, September. Um, almost a year ago now. But my deck of choice at the time was... Um, was Infect. Alright, so I'm gonna go Thought Erasure because of Soren. I wanted, I don't want them to have a Soren here. There's Soren. We'll take that. No, our opponent would have been at eight. We wouldn't have had two lethal creatures. I'm pretty sure we just attacked our opponent down to eight. They're the last turn. Oh, oh well. I'm I'm not sure, but one with that. Game two. So we got Legion's End, another Cryo Carnarium. Noxious Grasp kills some things, not everything, but it kills some things. That's kind of all we got for our sideboard here. Taking out Narset. Let's bring in an Elder Spell. Maybe both Elder Spells. The Sorens are, are definitely a problem. Trimming a Tamiya for an Elder Spell. All right, let's give this a try. <clears throat> Don't have that cry of the carnarium if our opponent has the fast start again. Well. I would call that a fast start. <clears throat> and you see, this is the problem with Noxious Grass. A lot of their things that we'd want to be Noxious Grasping, they're not white. Sanctum Seeker, Champion of Dusk, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Those are the things that we'd want to be killing with. <clears throat> Noxious Grasp. Pretty sure we're dead here. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, so should have mulligan in my hand. Should have mulligan in my hand.
All right, well, we got the cry. Very important card to have, as we saw there. Very important card to have, but we don't have the double black. We just got to hope we draw the double black, but I think this is worth keeping. You know, if we can go cry Kefnet, that's a really good start for us. Not a black source there. Hey, kitties. Le is Legion's End better than Grasp? They, they do a whole lot of different things. Yeah, they do, like, much different things. All right, perfect. We'll see if they have a Danto Vanguard after this. Yeah, like they're they're from four different uh, for different cards. Unfortunately, I do have Vanguard. Now, certainly hoping they don't have Soren to give that thing to grow it and give it Death Touch and stuff. Okay, good, no Soren. So definitely enter the God Eternals. Maybe Tamio? Tamio gets back Cry the Carnarium. That actually kills this Vanguard. Or gets back another God Eternals. Yeah, let's go Tamio. So if I was a magic card, I'd probably be Courser of Crucifix. That'd be my guess. Wow, Legion's End is awesome. I will take that. Thank you. What do you got in hand over there? Five mana, five mana, five mana, two mana. Hmm. I'm going to cast the Enter the God Eternals first so that our Tamio can get that back. Definitely hoping they put Champion of Dusk into play. Darn it. Um... I guess that's kind of a problem. Can't actually kill that Vona. Do I want to Thought Erasure away one of these champions, or do I just want to cast another Drawn from Dreams? Probably just another Drawn from Dreams. So I'm leaving leaving this thing back so that if they want to attack and then do the whole pay seven life thing, they have to to keep their Vono alive. They have to pay seven life and kill the 4-4. Four four. And I'd rather them kill the 4-4 four four than kill the Kefnet. All right, that's what they're going to do.
Yeah, draw from dreams is super sweet. Boom. Match number two. A lot faster than the control matchup. Yep. The Ebon Legion met the Legion's end. Fitting, a fitting end for the Ebon Legion. Let's see, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next hand. Hmm. All right, we're gonna ditch the soot. Of oh, course, is just kind of like my favorite card. Um, sorry to answer that question from before. Corsair of Crufix. Um, it plays good defense, it gains life, and has game objects move around zones, so that's cool. You could play some lands off the top of your library, so you get card advantage. Helps you hit land drops, I'm all about land drops. Just a well-designed card. <clears throat> Let's draw some lands or an Ascanta. That's not good. Yeah, I could see Nightpack Ambusher being the card for Bant Arcbow. It's like Shalai and, and Lyra do such a good job in that deck, but maybe. Honestly, maybe moving away from Shalai and Shalai combo is the way to go. And maybe going with Am Nightpack Ambushers instead of those. Our list has been pretty good so far. Yeah, we're 2-0. Uh, let's see how we do against this elemental deck. But yeah, this is a really, really grindy deck. Using our Kefnets as our main win condition. What a strange and magnificent world. Kindra. I cannot protect you anymore. Light a woman in the front seat. Screaming, go, go, go. Behold, nature's true power. Yuck. It's like four mythics. What a hand. I can't beat the Chandra. I can't beat the Nissa either. Can't really beat either of them. Like my best chance is they play like Risen Reef here, and then I draw another Thought Erasure off the top to take the Chandra. No. 
Same with the Chandra. Get out of my way. I'm Darn. Up here. All right, well, I don't... I just have that one trophy in here, so I, I can't kill that thing with three mana. Our deck doesn't really start till four mana. I know what I'm egoing. I mean, like, I want Nissa, Chandra, Krasis, Omnath. All right, Enter the God Eternals is too slow, but maybe what we need against Big Chandra. Big Chandra is a Big Chandra and Nissa. Both those cards are a huge problem. Narset way too slow. Narset out. I guess Nissa is not as big of a problem if I'm playing Casualties of War. Casualties is a really good answer to Nissa. Problem is they're going to have a lot of counter magic here also. So yeah, we should be playing all these duresses. Let's give this a try. Taking out Moment of Craving because it, or sorry, took out Cry of the Carnarium because it, while it's good against Risen Reef, it doesn't kill like their O3 Elementals or any of the Nissa lands. And then yeah, into the God Eternals, kind of slow. So those are our two trims to get a bunch of duresses in here. In this hand, we have lands, so I like it. Well, now if they have Risen Reef, I won't be able to. I won't be able to like kill Risen Reef, then play Drawn from Dreams, which was my ideal next two turns. But but as Kanta is kind of too good to not play. Have we ever played? Like, have you ever seen an elemental deck that doesn't have Risen Reef? Is that I've never seen it. Oh, they have the thing to protect it? Right. Veil of Summer. That's a card. Right. Two, so I'll be three, four, five. I'd like to find Ritual of Set. And just kind of digging hard here. Yeah, whenever we played our, our elemental deck, um, we never had Risen Reefs. Whenever we played it like in that the uh the challenge, the metagame challenge, I played it, you know, a bunch of those metagame challenges with elementals, and we just could not draw Risen Reefs.
And now they're just going to have a whole bunch of counter spells and... And elementals, they get them. Every elemental gives them card advantage, and they just draw a whole bunch of counter spells with it. This is definitely a controls like t real tough matchup here because the amount of card advantage this thing provides and the amount of counter spells they get to play. This is pretty rough. Sad when I have to use Drawn from Dreams for bait, but I just have to. Gotta get that Risen Reef out of here. <laughs> Girlfriend's in love with your bleh expression. <laughs> That's a good one. A bleh emote. What would a bleh emote look like? I think we need like a rude emote, right? Whenever people counter our spells. Rude. Still very dead. We got the tilt team out. <laughs> I need some kindling. You look flammable enough. All right, that's a tough matchup. Hey, Tag Force. Yeah, Chandra, Risen Reef, all those cards. Those cards are just so good against control. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't mind, Jay. We got us canted to hit land drops this time, so that's good. Hopefully not elementals. Tilt. Not blue, but... I don't want to be too greedy and just get rid of it. So if we, if we get rid of that there, then we're just not going to draw a land. At least, you know, lets us cast this Ritual of Set here. If we get another green black land, I'll ditch that, of course. Wow, no Risen Reef. What is this? Hmm, would have had it. Five, co five color cavaliers with lotus fields. Sounds pretty sweet. All right, do I take two Thought Ra Yeah, I take two Thought Raiders. Debating between that and a land. All right, well, it's not Nissa. Really wish I could cast Ritual Set here. Those who cannot fire 
have just the trick for this. Fortunately, killing Cavalier of Thorns means that they get Krasis back. Come on. Will not fail. I'm already struggling to stabilize here. Don't need that. Yeah, that was my plan, was to Ritual and Trophy. I'll miss your company. They get the crisis back though, which is really unfortunate. I guess they could just grab the Nissa back. Sure. That's better for us, honestly. But we're we'll be dead to like another Nissa off the top. But we can have this covered. Yes, give me that. Fight on without me. I'll let them draw their card first just so they have, you know, that little bit more chance that they have a basic in hand. Or like that they draw a basic. Cool. No, let's keep you right there, Ascanta. So we get the Ascanta trigger next turn. Honestly, maybe I want that land. No, we don't need blame. Because we're tapping out here anyway, so like flipping that as Kanta doesn't doesn't do anything, doesn't like have us cast discovery or anything. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. I know I noticed this somewhere. I really want to dispersal that thing, to be honest. Yeah, I guess this is the right way to go with tapping.
All right, well, we have a Tyrant Scorn, so we don't just die to a Nyssa tick up if they if they find a Nyssa. And then, yeah, we'll have the Enter the God Eternals for life gain next turn. Seek and find. Yeah, get rid of those Cavalier Thorns. Come on, Arena. Come on, stop lagging. Lagon, we're on the lagon wagon. Together is finished. We have three mana left. Let's play this card. We'll wait on Enter the God Eternals. We don't need to. <laughs> the lagon wagon. That, that could be an emote. Come on, play that last land from hand. Make my dispersal better. I am ancient and why the fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Gotta be just two lands over there, right? Definitely should just take out the Ugin first before that surveil, of course. Just made that surveil just not worth very much. Alright. Grinded them down. Need them to draw some lands in the late game, of course. But that game wasn't looking so good for us for a while. Nice, Rex. Some okay, some cavaliers to that green Tron list. Have you ever found any use for the sideboard crucible of worlds? Hey, Zeet. You're about halfway through the stream now. We're four hours in. Played a couple of really slow decks, it turns out, the first two. I knew this deck would take a while. I didn't realize how slow the Teamer Escape Ship deck was going to be. I'm not too worried about the Nexus part of their deck. I'm much more worried about Cavalier of Thorns and 
Nissa and Tamio and Krasis. Those are the cards I'm worried about. You can answer everything else. You know, if you're killing all their things, ne Nexus isn't doing a ton for you. I think it's very possible they just sideboard out Nexus here. Nexus is really good against decks that don't interact as much with you, but if if they're killing all your stuff, Nexus not too impactful. So they're going with the Leafkin Druid approach. Yeah, I certainly was was thinking about Ego Cavalier kind of thing. Because Cavaliers like are like difficult to deal with, and then they also like get get like one of their best threats back and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Cool, yeah, and you went 2-2 two -two split with Field of Ruin and Mobilized District. I kind of I kind of like that. I think the Field of Ruin is not nearly as, as valuable as it was at one point. The storied past holds our future. All stories must end. All right, see if we draw a land here for the Ugin. No. drawn one last card if I would have ritual said before. Well, we have we have the Tamios. Like we one one on Word Ego, we could cast a bunch with Tamio. Theoretically, of like bring bringing back on Word Ego, you know, like we could try to name Krasis and because they have like four cards that I'm worried about. Like they have four very good cards that are going to be me: Tamio, Cavalier, Krasis, and Nissa. I don't think this 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 deck. I don't think Risen Reef is going to beat me. Seek shelter in my stewardship. But like Nissa Nissa Krasis are like the best two, and then Cavalier Tamio, and Tamio. Honestly, if you're getting rid of the others, Tamio is not doing as much. So it's it's really Nissa Krasis. Oh, they're playing mass manipulation. Oh, well. That yeah. Okay. Well. Didn't know they were a mass manipulation deck. Did not know that. Hmm. Mass manipulation deck. Let's get these things in here. I guess Narset's really good against Krasis, I guess. Maybe I should be playing these Narsets.
Maybe I should. I have just like everything costs two mana. Play two of them. Um, all right, here we go. All right, so we can start our ego chain. We can either get rid of, it's really three cards. Krasis, Nissa, Manipulation. Gotta go with one of those th three. I think we just start with Nissa. I think that's the first hit, is go for Nissa. So they're just going to draw so many cards. No land. It is an honor to meet you. I follow the tracks of the wise. We're gonna have the Kefnet in here to attack to be able to attack Tamio. And then it looks like we're gonna have to sit next turn. To the library. Hmm. 
This is tough. Negate would have, like, I just need the land, I think. Negate would, you know, protect me from... It would do a good job protecting me from mass manipulation. No crisis, though. All right, so what do they got? Oh, a bunch of Vela Summers. So yeah, they have all four Nisses, obviously. Two Manipulation, three, three Manipulation. Gosh, there's so many cards I don't want to deal with. All I can hear. Hey, Paul. Hey, Abigail. Um, <clears throat> if an artifact becomes a creature and it gets 1-1 one, one counters and then ceases to be a creature, do the counters fall off? No, they, they would stay on. They, the 1-1 one, one counters would stay on. Hey, Paul's gifting a sub to Abigail there. Ah, my emotes moved. I was trying to do all hypotes, but I got some sleep ones in there too. Thank you so much, Santa Paul. Very kind of you. Fourth sub of the day. Double manipulation. Cavalier was definitely a very good draw for our opponent there. Hoping they would whiff. Because Cavalier blocks the Kefnet. It triggered the Risen Reefs. So they got to draw a card. That was a really good draw. Be wary of the, ground to walk on. the third manipulation? Uh, this is the problem with... <laughs> On Mordigo, like the first on Mordigo doesn't do a whole lot for you. You need a lot. You need to be drawing multiples of them. All right, these blue green decks make it really hard to be playing control. They do. Saw how many cards Risen Reef. Uh, got our opponent there. There we go. Mr. Allen getting that gifted sub also. Santa DJ. Thank you so much. Thanks, Paul. That was on a mulligan to five, too. That we saw our opponent outgrind us with the multiple Risen Reefs. Ugh. It's tough. Um... So yeah, a pretty sweet deck here. As you can see, playing against the blue-green Risen Reef decks is going to be really tough to to outgrind them because the what our deck does is you know it's supposed to outgrind stuff, but it I think I think this deck is probably pretty good against like the hyper aggro decks, as we saw us beat vampires there, and against other control decks we have just like oh just so much card advantage against other control decks, but Risen Reef's going to be tough. I honestly wonder if, like, this deck could just be playing, like, three or four copies of Unmoored Ego. What if, like, that's, like, your game plan what, against, like, those decks that outgrind you? What if your actual game plan is just Unmoored Ego Tamiyo? But that's your entire game plan. And so taking, like, one card like Krasis isn't just all. But, yeah. Risen Reef, Tamiyo, Nissa, Krasis. Mass Manipulation. It's tough. Cavalier of Thorns is perfect there too. That's a really tough 
car to beat or deck deck to beat but oh well that's soul tie dreams a pretty sweet one here had some really good games those games against grixis were awesome and stuff like that hey what's up timmy thanks for that resub sub number six on the day keeping those hype boats going thanks timmy there Anyway, if you're watching the video on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this deck. And if so, hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, like I talked about at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be trying a Jeskai Drawn from Dreams deck um, that, I, that I'll be trying here soon. That Jeskai gives you a Deafening Clarion, which gives you a three-mana good sweeper against Nissa, Risen Reef decks. Um, yeah, so I really like Deafening Clarion, so I'm going to be trying that uh, Drawn from Dreams. And... And gives you a three a, a three mana sweeper is also important because it helps free up the four mana slot. So you know we'll have like uh, we'll have little Teferi, but then um, deafening Clarion here in the three, and then we can have like big Teferi in the five. And so we'll try we'll try drawn from dreams with Jeskai also. Maybe drawn from dreams is the card that brings Jeskai back. Who knows? Beastin staying on that one month streak. Thanks, Beastin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I should just make a, a janky unmoored ego deck, and like that's like the whole point of the deck is to like unmoored ego away their whole deck, because like just a, just like four unmoored egos, four tamios to bring them back, like four kefnets, so you can just have like kefnet reveal, unmoored ego, you know, like drawn from dreams for unmoored ego, narsets unmoored ego. Maybe maybe that's what I should do. Just make a, a janky unmoored ego deck. <laughs> Anyway, there we go. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're watching this on YouTube and think I should make a janky on Mordigo deck, let me know. Uh, but that's, that's it here for Soul Thought Dreams. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video. Thousand Year Storm on, on Mordigo.